Tig of Holland. And it's played two. One one lost one for Tony Stokes sitting side and let's rewind to yesterday lunchtime. Stoke fans were out in force for their club's first home game in the top flight of English football for over two decades. Kevin Day joined the Stokies going pottery. <laughs> Those of you who are travelling to your premiership games by road this evening will be setting your sat night to some new and exotic places. Stoke City have been far away from the top flight of English football for a long time, but now their excited fans are only hours away from their first ever home game in the premiership. <laughs> it's been buzzing. Everywhere you see people are talking about it, but they've been caught up on the mood. Yeah. And the mood is, we're going to show English football, we're going to show the Premier League that we need business. If it's no fun to get going, you can make it really up for any opposition. The dress have obviously already uh, ripped us off, the media haven't got any time for us. But I think some other clubs from Liverpool so it's a very civilised way of going from a lovely pub to the uh, coast. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, do you do that every week? Yeah. 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 Ye
I wish they together. The, the biggest thing, Ray, that we uh, that I took on board from other managers I spoke to was that you know we're going to lose some games this year on a regular basis, <laughs> but it's the recovery. It's the next game that counts. And uh, we just got over the defeat of, uh, against Bolton and looked forward to the Villa game and, and took it on from there. Can you enjoy it out there? I don't think you can enjoy it. You get very tight and very tense and watching me on the, on the line, you know, I'm embarrassed sometimes by what I do. You know, you just lose all concept of what you're doing and what you're, you know, you're, you're trying to. You know, I'm shouting at players there, there's 28,000 people. Who's going to hear me when I'm shouting? <laughs> it doesn't stop me from shouting. Um, but no, it was a great day. You know, 23 years since you know, the club were in the top five. It's the first time this football club's been in the Premiership. So it means hell of a lot to, uh, <laughs> to everybody. Everybody in Stoke and Trent. Now, people talk about stadiums and fans a lot, but do you really, is the Britannia Stadium and your fans, is it the equivalent of a signing? It's unique, the, 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 and I really do mean this. When the, when the supporters are behind you, really, really get behind you, we, you know, we'll get that support on a regular basis this year. It's a fantastic atmosphere. What impact did it have on everyone at the club when people said, oh, it's a foregone conclusion, you're going down? It, but you can't. No, we use it as a positive. Well, for me, you can't affect that, so you don't get involved in it. The only thing I worry about is what I can affect, and that is the players and the club in general. And I think the supporters will back us all the way this year, mm. and uh, they'll play their part. Mm. Well, I think you've got so many exciting games to come, and uh, you've, well, you've, you've put out a warning now, haven't you, to everyone else? We've got a big game at Middlesbrough next week where it's a different game. So, you know, we, like I said, it's a fantastic result against a very, very good side. Villa are a very, very good side. Mm. And uh, that will give us the confidence to push on. Uh, let's look back at the rest of yesterday. <laughs> he gets the lot. And given Tony's our guest, on the back of Stoke's first top flight win for over two decades, when the winning goal went in, the fans and the club's most exclusive executive box of the Britannia Stadium were out of their seats. And it's a big box, 50 odd in there. And you're now saying they've put a screen to stop them, are you? Yeah, I should imagine the chief executive will watch that. You won't have that. I've still got something to say about Arsenal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 